Man, well, this is where, you know, things get interesting, man. Some of my favorite, you know, times are when I'm out on stage, man, solo or with my crew. It doesn't even matter, man. This is one of the most glorious and victorious times for me ever, man. Being able to hit that stage, you know, um, test out new material, connect with the crowd, um, you know, feel the energy of the crowd, give them my energy. Um, whether I'm solo or with a crew, this is one of the best times of my life, you know, to get up there and pay back and sweat and pay back in performance uh, the support that's been given to me, you know, via uh, a bunch of different artists, um, as well as a bunch of different, you know, fans and, you know, people who come out to support me and the music. So whether I'm solo or with a crew, man, it's just exciting, you know, going to get the haircut and going to get the fit, getting the jewelry clean, you know, gra grabbing the brand new kicks, you know, just the whole process, man, I enjoy it all. But, you know, it's nothing better than getting up there on that stage underneath those lights and having the opportunity to run that material on the crowd and connect with that crowd, see how they feel, give them your energy and receive their energy back. Um, it's just one of the moments we live for as artists. You know, so often, you know, we're in the studio or we're on these different sets and stuff like that, and we may not get to connect in a way that we feel is intimate you know, with our fan base or the people who support us. So the fact that we can go out here and get on stage and actually kill these venues, you know, House of Blues and just different clubs um, and different venues, stadiums, arenas, man, there's no better feeling than being up there with that mic in control of the whole crowd and you just giving it to them, like I said, in sweat. And you just giving it to them in blood, guts, and tears. And you just came out there to leave it all out, you know, in front of the crowd on stage. You're not taking nothing back to the to the locker room. You're not taking nothing back to the dressing room with you. You know, you're just pouring it all out, you know, right out there. There's no better feeling uh, for me than that, man. We're in the studio and spend a lot of time coming up with these songs and creating these songs and coming up with material. But the opportunity that you have to actually share it you know, and give it to the crowd and have them receive it and then have them give you, you know, their energy back uh, based on how it made them feel. You know, there's no better feeling than that, you know, as an artist, because you're actually getting the opportunity to take what's only been tested in your lab and what's been liked by you and the likes of you. Now you have the opportunity to put that out in front of people. It's time to put your money where your mouth is. It's time for the rubber to meet the road. You know, and a lot of times, that's a point that a lot of artists can't get past. But this is one of the most glorious and victorious times for me, man, when I'm not stuck in a studio in a cubicle or stuck up in some phone hot vocal booth. But when I'm able to grab me a, you know, a Bud Light, you know what I'm saying, I'm able to hit me a couple of blunts or something, chill out in the crowd, watch the other artists perform, mingle, do my social networking and stuff like that. And, you know, when they call me, me and or my group, go up there and do what I came to do. You know what I'm saying? There is no better feeling, man. Taking pictures, you know, with the fan base afterwards. Um you know, uh, linking up with, with different artists and linking up with different uh, content creators who wanna, who maybe see something that I don't see, you know, or maybe have a project that they're interested in and they want me to be a part of it. Uh, just the social, the social networking of it all. Uh, sometimes you're dealing with people who aren't even, f you know, from this country, they just visiting, you know, and they may pop in and see something and now boom, they back in Switzerland and Australia, Japan, Canada, the Netherlands, Great Britain, South Africa, Mexico. Uh, you know, I have fans everywhere, man, and friends everywhere, Ukraine, Russia, shout out to everybody, man. But this is what it's about when you, when you have the opportunity to come out here and, you know, take that material that you've been writing and been testing and been, you know, memorizing and all of that and put it out in front of the crowd and see how they feel about it. Because that's ultimately who the music is for. The music is being made for the listener. I mean, it's artists out there that like to hear they self-talk, you know what I'm saying? So they probably making the music for they self and their neighborhood, whoever, their family. Um, the music is really being made for all the listeners, man, at the end of the day. So you want to, you know, put something in there that the listener can take away from the record, you know? And these live performances are when you have the opportunity to bring your material to life. 
in front of a crowd and get actual responses in real time. So it's nothing like this. You're not waiting on analytics. <laughs> You're not going back later and checking the demographics and, you know, the logistics of the situation. This is all in real time. You know if they like it, you know if they don't. You know if they feeling it, you know if they not. And um, it's just laid out. I guess there's no other form of raw, you know, uh, engagement like this that's left, especially now with all the social media. So when I have a chance to give it to you, you know, in person, I mean, I don't care if it's five, 500 or 5,000. I'm going to pour my heart out. Y'all going to see my passion because it's what I love and it's what I do. And I'm blessed, man, truly blessed. You know what I'm saying? Love what you do and do what you love. Do what you love and love what you do. Yo, man, it's the Digi God. Once again, I'm out your face like a buff puff. I'm out your ear like a used Q-tip. Your boy gone. Y'all check out the docu-series 1 through 12 streaming right now. YouTube, The Urge 7. Your boy gone.